Little shavers are near the tube tonight. <laughs> okay, with that said, before we get to the movie, we have yet another couple of treats to toss in your sacks. <laughs> well, one at least is a treat. It's an interview with that master of the macabre, Uncle Eric Biggers, which we'll get to in just a couple of minutes. Ah, the other comes to us courtesy of our own resident guru, goal, ghost ghoul busting, Professor Quack. He has a few valuable tips for all you kitties hitting the streets tonight. Ah, let's have a look. Roll the film. <laughs> Hello kids, happy Halloween. Professor Atrocious Quack here with a few words of advice before you embark on your trick-or-treating adventures. Remember, all manner of unusual and even horrible things can happen on Halloween night. Not the least of which is the tendency of some deceased creatures, who would otherwise be resting in peace, to rise from their graves and stalk the living. And believe you me, having every last morsel of your tender flesh gnawed to the bone by ravenous supernatural creeps is no happy hour at club fun and games. Ho 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 ho! Yes. So, on this most strange and sinister night of the year, it is my advice that you stay away from any kind of reanimated corpse that you may encounter whilst relieving your neighbors of all their sweets. And furthermore, you should be prepared to defend yourself if a zombie does indeed take a liking to you. How should you do this, you ask? Well, there are any number of ways. And to help me illustrate some of them to you, I shall enlist the aid of this zombified mammal, which I found by the side of the road just a short while ago. Not quite sure what he is, really, though I'm leaning toward a domestic feline. We'll call him Todd. I like the name Todd. <laughs> Right, first things first, be sure to travel with a friend. The most effective way of fending off a marauding dead thing is to throw your unsuspecting companion into its hungry clutches. Whilst the fiend is occupied, you can safely make your escape. Allow me to demonstrate. Say hello to my willy, I mean my friend willy. Say willy, I think we're about to be eaten by this vile undead beast. Every man for himself. Oh, 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 no, no! Oh, 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 You'll need more than just a dispensable fellow human being. You'll need to procure a firearm. Preferably something concealable, such as a pistol. Not unlike this one. Now, I've loaded my piece with a special silver bullet, which you can hear rattling around in there, and uh, which you can find at your local department store. And I'm speaking, of course, to the Americans among you. For the rest of the world, stick with plan A. Now then, the key here is to aim squarely for the head. Just keep a steady hand and you'll do fine. When ready, give the trigger a firm squeeze and... Oh, good heavens, I seem to have shot my eye out. How silly of me. No, no, be a good little dog. Stay back. No. What the?